Okay, so I'm George Kluris. I'm from NCSR Democritus located in Athens. It is a research uh, center, national research center. And thanks to Joseph uh, for setting up the ground. And I will go through to, uh, to present you the, the current, let's say, workflows that we, uh, we enforce on uh, when we're working with network service development and deployment in, in the frame of Sonata. So what we actually use a lot uh, for us as development side, as, we, as Joseph explained to you, is the service development kit. And we have different phases that lead either to the de deployment of the service at the, uh, at the ser through the service platform, or if you want to make some more testing or debugging, you can deploy the network service on, on, on top of the SON emulator, which is an emulator that can actually uh, uh, create some tests and verifications for your network service. So, uh, the, 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 the time scales for, for every step, so we, the, the, the first part to go from project creation to the, the project editing, that is an order of seconds. And uh, of course, the, the time scale can expand more when you're doing debugging or analysis uh, within the framework. And of course, you have the, the, the other path of the DevOps, which is through the de deployment on the service platform. And of course, you don't stop there because there is a monitoring system that actually supports you in order to feedback uh, monitor, monitoring metrics to the developer in order to be able to attend any and fix any any bug or any issue that happens in the running service. So the, the first phases I will go through uh, a little bit a, a little bit quickly because of the time. So and I have a lot of slides just to keep all the all the phases appearing here. So you you create uh, we simply need to create a workspace and on this workspace you can create different projects that maybe are variation of the same project or different uh, things that you would like to have all uh, su uh, summarized in one workspace. So in this workspace the, the, the first uh, thing is to actually create a uh, create whatever is needed in order to the packaging functionality that uh, will be on the uh, on the second or, or later stages to be enabled. Okay, on, and as you can see here on this figure, you have a number of sources, dependencies, uh, the the components that we said that uh, allow you to orchestrate your service, some patterns, the network functions, all the stuff are going into this uh, under the the structure of the project. So essentially, for just for for I, I, I will. Uh, in the presentation, I, I will skip to slides uh, depicting what is currently done uh, in, a, in a console or in, a, in the real environment. So here, we're just uh, taking some ex examples from uh, Sonata GitHub, and we are initializing a workspace with, this, uh, uh, with these services. Then it's the, the part where you are actually fetching the, the descriptors that are available. Those descriptors might be available on a local storage or might be available on third party catalogs or public websites. And you uh, are able to, to fetch them and bring them in uh, and import them into your project in order to use them in your creation of the network service. The next part is the project editing. So we all know, uh, at least those that get their hands dirty with uh, you know, designing network services and designing virtual links and stuff, how much uh, how uh, helpful could be a visual interface to do that. So essentially, we use the Son Editor, which is a graphical user interface where you actually you have a drop-down list of all your VNFs that you have imported into your, uh, into your workspace, and you are able to create the virtual links and to create the network, let's say, uh, all this, uh, the graph of the network uh, in a visual way, okay? And uh, the, the Son editor is actually supporting in the interaction with uh, GitHub for even fetching other projects into your project or descriptors. And finally, at the end of, at the end of it, when you have uh, finalized your network uh, service graph and you have applied all the configurations here, there is uh, the capability to run a, and validate uh, the graph that you have uh, uh, composed. So uh, a few screenshots of how the environment looks like. So here we have to enter uh, through the, using your GitHub developer login to the Sonata Network Service Editor. You can select the workspaces. You can see the active workspaces that are under your account. And of course, you can actually then see the different projects that exist in this workspace. And of course, at the end, if you click to the right uh, project, you can go and uh, figure out the, and, and try to form the, the network graph and the, compose your, your network service using the visual editor. 
Okay, and after, after you're done, you can uh, go to the, let's say, uh, to the Outlook environment to just take a look on your automatically created uh, descriptor for your VNFs or automatically created descriptor for your network service and even change a few values if you think that this makes sense uh, for you. Uh, at the end of the step, you can see here the SON, uh, the SON validation. So you, do, you specify which project name you want to validate and the validator makes a structural validation of the actual descriptor so that the system is re at the end of the step, all the descriptors are conforming to the, let's say, to the rules that are defined by the Sonata schema for the descriptors, okay? So if there is a change in the Sonata schema, you already, through the validator, you are already knowing which kinds of, uh, they have changed and you need to adapt to. At, after, after that, it's, uh, we have to discuss about the packaging concept. So the, in, in Sonata, we work with packages. So there are a number of, uh, a number of descriptors going from, let's say, from VNF descriptors. Uh, you have the images of the VNFs of the different VDUs. You might have the network service descriptor, uh, things like SSM modules, a bunch of uh, things that are uh, need to, let's say, to, to be, let's say, integrated to one big batch. And this is called a package, a Sonata package. So we, we use the SDK in order to, to create the package. And we, the package can look, uh, uh, can have two versions. Let's say a slim package, where actually you don't include the VDU images or all the descriptors, but references to those. Or a fat package, which can contain all the artifacts and is, is fully complete. For each package, a specific, let's say, manifest uh, file is created that is actually all, all the uh, is um, let's say is noting down all the contents of the uh, of the package. Okay, so the the use of packaging into a single file solves external project dependencies. Uh, it allows the retrieval of remote projects and descriptors for SDK catalogs, so you don't have to have them uh, right in your system. And of course, uh, has a syntax validation, a lot of syntax validation of the descriptors uh, against the latest SEMA definitions. And here what, let's say, the output of the SON package creation, package command would look like that will solve all the dependencies and uh, bring all the VNFs and the VDU inside the, the package. So after the package is created, we need to validate it. So there is another graphical interface that takes in its turn into the package validation. So it actually opens the package, opens the manifest file, checks the VNFDs and the images, and produces the, the service graph. This service graph is a little bit different than the other. The other was the editor, and this is the validator. So actually, it reads the VNF descriptor and all the virtual links and uh, connection points and creates the graph of the network service. So here, the outer globe here is the network service, and here, each one of these are the VNFs and all the interfaces, management interfaces, data interfaces, and uh, whatever the developer has defined. And of course, the networking uh, uh, points of attachment for, for each uh, one inside the NSD. Then we come at the stage where we, we worked with the SDK has produced the output. We have the package and we need to deploy. So we will use the SON access component in order to, to do that. So we can either uh, deploy the, the package in Sonata platform or we can either deploy the package on the emulator for continuous, let's say, uh, testing of, uh, of the network service with using the tools that are available there. All this, uh, uh, can be extended, of course, to support any service platform. So, so, so now we have the Sonata service platform, but it could easily be another service platform, another Mano orchestrator that could, you know, uh, we could issue the command to deploy the, the package or to deploy uh, or to, uh, to make some tests if it is a testing facility. So here what we, what we see is the package onboarding to the service platform. So we chose to we first authenticate to the service platform because we need to have credentials to do that, and we push the package. So issuing in that command allows us to, issue, to send, the, to send the, the, the whole package, the images, and all the descriptors to the Sonata platform in order to, for this service to be made available. So here our private service has been made available. So you can see here a bunch of actions that can be done to either 
Uh, this is a, a small, let's say, BSS environment, very basic to fit the needs of the project. And uh, so you can see the available uh, network services. You can instantiate them. You can uh, look into them and check the descriptors. You can do a bunch of basic stuff here in order to, uh, to deploy your service. And finally, if you choose to deploy your service, you get some menu with some basic, uh, let's say, fun uh, basic uh, attachment points that you would like to be, you know, uh, uh, configured into your network service in order for, for the Sonata platform to be able to steer the traffic from outside sources through the POPs and create the, ser the network service graph in an end-to-end -end fashion. Okay, it's pretty much simple here, but it can be uh, really uh, a pain if you have a, a, an actual network with a lot of inputs and outputs uh, in your uh, setup. So at the end of the invocation of the service, the provision and everything, you, the, the, the results are here. So here is a, a typical view of the stack as is uh, deployed in, in, a, in a, an open stack environment. And here is the actual BSS uh, 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 log that says what time it was uh, updated, what time uh, it was created, and what is the, the phase that the, currently, the current project is, is at. Finally, we, we have and an inherent monitoring uh, component and our descriptors support it because we want the developer to be able to, to define metrics, specific service specific metrics that will make sense uh, to monitor in order to get uh, more insights into the service deployment. So essentially, we have this service monitoring system that actually provides all this kind of useful data that go beyond the SLA assurance environments, but mostly are tailored to fit the development needs. So you can have the service de deployed in a real environment inside the, through the Sonata platform, but you are continuously monitoring and uh, trying to fix and, uh, the, the problems that might occur. There is an alternative path, as we said, to go to, towards the Sonata emulator. So the Sonata emulator is something that uh, uh, is used for rapid pro prototyping platform. Okay, we can, you can execute it actually in the developer platform laptop and it's production ready uh, network services. It can be used for production ready network services. Executes container based VNFs, not VMs. Okay, and uh, it can support multi POP technologies, service chaining, and of course, you can, it can be integrated with the MANO system. Okay, so essentially what we would like to do is to deploy our VNFs in different virtual pops and check uh, various, various latency issues or traffic uh, issues through the, through the emulator. So when you upload the package onto the emulator, you get a list of all the VNFs that you have, of all the networking devices that you have, IPs that are applied, and you get the graph of this uh, deployment. And uh, of course, if you double click each and every bullet, you get uh, SSH uh, terminal for you to uh, uh, put commands that uh, ping or use iperf for use any type of, of testing facility that is uh, available on Linux to, in order to, to make the test uh, to your likelihood. So the, the last two phases is the debugging, which is the, the SON monitoring that runs either with actual input from the service platform or either uh, through the Sonata emulator. Uh, so because of, of, uh, of these issues here that developed service might contain bugs or, they might, or the, the actual VNF operation or workload characterization is not well understood, so we need to run it through the Sun monitor. So the Sun monitor actually has a, a range of debugging and profiling features in order to investigate. The developer can select which tests and which debugging uh, uh, processes he wants to follow and, uh, and provide a data set of metrics that require further analysis. And uh, then we, we go to the, to the, okay, this is an explanation of the debugging the little bit more graphical way. So essentially you have the service, you have the descriptors, you have the functionalities. So during deployment, you want to describe the network service, to check the, the network service description, to check the package, to push to the platform. And of course, after the, the deployment, you get further testing of the deployed service through the emulation uh, platform. So, okay, you did that. You set up the emulator, you took the, the metrics, uh, you defined the metrics, you defined all the tests uh, that is required to be run. Now you need to analyze this and to make some workload predictions or check SLA violations, 
and things like that. So this part is covered by Son Analyze platform. So you, we have a, a user interface with, that integrates with some other platform and the SDK, and uh, actually is able to uh, give you, provide you a profiling of your VNF or your network service under different situations of, uh, of network threats. This is just an example. So uh, again, here we just uh, introduce uh, traffic into the uh, into the system that is uh, is uh, is little by little increasing. So we notice the CPU, uh, for instance, that is increasing too, and we get some points in our let's say in our profiling that are points that are uh, that we notice serious let's say a change in the the way the CPU utilization is uh, is measured. Okay, and I guess that I was quick. If to, so enough, enough to, to compensate for, for the previous. Okay, so the conclusion is that we have, we are the, we have the first open source vendor independent SDK for, for NFV. And to tell you the truth, I was in the previous room with uh, ONAP and all this discussion, and I saw the nice architecture that there is a, the SDK there for the developers. So Sonata started two years ago, I think, and we, two and a half years ago, and we already have this idea. So. I, I really uh, urge you to, to check the, the, the way our SDK works and to, because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's available and you can download it and play with it. And we have the emulation environment that enables developers to rapidly validate and deploy the developed service. We have working prototype, open source code base uh, with clear roadmap. So we, as, as Joseph told you, we are currently, the Sonata ends at, at the end of December. And, but the, there is another project, Tango, that uh, takes uh, builds on top of it with a verification and validation framework and extending the, 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 the actual provided functionalities by the SDK environment. Finally, we have, uh, uh, we have a, a very effective integration operation with service de de development. So we use the, all the DevOps approaches that are supported by the, the Sonata framework work in order to develop our, our own uh, service, the, the service platform and all the components that exist in the Sonata framework. So, thank you very much. You can go directly to the GitHub. This is a, a, a GitHub uh, hosted uh, uh, project. So everything, all the source code is available there for you to deploy and play with. And you can check the full demo of all the screenshots I gave you in the, in the YouTube channel, okay? So. All, right, all right, thank you. And uh, it looks like we have a, at least a minute or two for questions. So you can, uh, is Joseph still here? No, jo Joseph had to run he for He had his, to run, okay. Any questions? Can I ask one? Sure. Yeah, sure. Ding Wee. Self-service package of Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. All right, so your service descriptor or service package is defined based on Tosca profile or is it just a YAML profile? But we use the YAML profile, and okay. uh, we have aligned ourselves to the Etsy, uh, to the let's Etsy, see. let's say, Mano uh, first, let's say, definition of the descriptors. But we have extended a little bit the definition because we wanted to, to give, let's say, uh, inputs for the monitoring system in order to allow the debugging. So essentially, our descriptors are allowing a certain th set of thresholds and monitoring metrics that are allow the service to actually be give feedback to the developer. It just a, are you saying align with Etsy? Do you mean align with the information model, or are you saying align with the data model? I guess the information model. Model, okay, yeah, yeah because you are you are based on YAML, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's different. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's different. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, thank yeah. you, George. Okay.